there. You found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Have you ever traveled to the kingdom of Dreamland? Lots of yeses, Bear. Many are saying they're in Dreamland every night when they're asleep. Well, right now, Noah's taking off to Dreamland, where the king wants him to fight a dragon who's setting Dreamland on fire. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if Noah will obey the king and slay the fire-breathing dragon. Noah in Dreamland by Alana George. I jump into bed as my mom dims the light. She picks out a book as I smile with delight. She tucks in the blanket beneath my cold toes and starts to read, but my eyes slowly close. Dream of aqua blue water and beaches with sand. Good night, little Noah. I'll see you in dreamland. My eyes feel quite heavy as I drift off to sleep when suddenly I hear a strange kind of creak. My eyes fly open and to the left of the door, my rocking chair is rising right off of the floor. Not wasting a second, I leap onto the chair and suddenly realize I'm up in the air. Take me to dreamland, I order out loud and fly out of my window and straight through a cloud past shimmering stars and beyond the white moon, when suddenly my chair and I land with a boom. And before I have time to look around, a funny old man in a red robe and crown says, Noah, young man, we've been waiting for you. In fact, your visit is long overdue. We need your help. Dreamland has some trouble. Follow me, Noah. Hop, skip on the double. I say to the king, you've been waiting for me? And you need my help? Whatever can it be? There's a terrible dragon who is burning our city. We've begged him to stop, but he will not take pity. I loudly gasp, but what can I do? You will slay the dragon. We're counting on you. So I follow the king and he hands me a sword and a silvery shield that is hard as a board. The dragon's this way. The king gives me a poke. You really can't miss him. Just follow the smoke. So I follow his orders and trek through the town looking for embers fiery red and burnt brown. And that's when I see him, almighty and giant. I pull out my sword. He seems quite defiant. Oh, please don't hurt me, the big dragon pled. His nose was quite runny and stuffy and red. I'm feeling quite sick and don't mean to sneeze flames. It turns out that I just have 
terrible aim. I'd never hurt Dreamland or anger the throne. I do love this kingdom. This kingdom's my home. So I stood for a moment and had a quick thought. This dragon did not need to be fought. I ran to the castle and ordered some tea and a big bowl of soup, super hot and spicy. I brought it straight over to the poor sickly dragon who gulped it right down as fast as you can imagine. I did not mean to scare you. I felt awfully blue. It appears, said the dragon, that I just had the flu. All hail Noah, the king loudly did shout, for saving our kingdom and helping us out. Then the king took my hand and gave me his crown to the new king of Dreamland. You saved the whole town. I smiled and thanked him, but twas time to go home, and I asked the dragon to watch over the throne. Will I see you tomorrow? I heard the dragon say. Yes, and got in my rocking chair and flew far away. Now safely back home with the crown on my chair, I snuggled in bed with my soft teddy bear and dreamt of aqua blue water and beaches with sand and the exciting adventure I had in dreamland. Bear's wondering, how did Noah find out the dragon didn't mean to burn dreamland? Hmm. Many are saying Noah listened to the dragon explain his story. So Bear's asking, what do you think kings should do first? Listen to the whole story or fight? Most say listen. Well, what do you think King Noah will do? Hmm. Well, Bear's hoping you come back soon for more adventures in getting the whole story. Bye for now. Please subscribe.